Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Salon Graphite's channel, the forefront of graphite and battery metal exploration. Joining us, Chief Executive Officer Donald Baxter. Welcome back, sir. Thanks, Kyle. Great, great to be here as always. And always a pleasure to have you. So we got lots to dive into today. Salon's anode graphite in full cell lithium ion batteries outperforms the leading commercial synthetic graphite. Now, I know this is huge for you, but please just tear that apart and tell us what's going on here. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm quite happy to do so. This is, this is amazing. I, I hope the markets will understand just how, how big this is. They don't seem to at the moment. But um, yeah, in our comparison, full cells, we did the half cells, which are very good. Now we're in full cell commercial. Um, and we're doing it at, at University College London, which is, uh, uh, you know, they're tied with the Faraday Institute there. They're tied with British Volt. Uh, so it gives us some direct lines to some potential OEMs. Um, so, but the exciting part is just how well these, these perform. So we're that much better than the, the synthetic, as you can see in the news release. So we're coming in at 161 and 165 milliamp hours per, per gram, whereas the synthetic, which is pretty good standard synthetic stuff, uh, that's being used pretty widely now at 153. So we're showing that the Sri Lankan vein graphite uh, will be hope to form very well. Um, we're hoping to also release, release some of our uh, other work being done there with the silicon enhancements. So that's, again, we've got some good news flow coming from that. And I think uh, when people realize just where we're going with this, I think it'll, it'll be, um, you know, it'll be pretty exciting at this point. So uh, that's my goal is to get the attention and focus in the UK as well, because a lot are focused in the EU. Uh, with Brexit, uh, the Brits are really trying to ramp up their, you know, production of gigafactories and and the ability to process materials within within the borders. Yeah, and you guys are really localized in a good spot uh, when you really start to kind of pushing some of this stuff out. But that's that's incredible news. Uh, let's pivot just a little bit here because you guys did drop some in term uh, financials. I mean, you got four point sure, six yes. million assets sitting on 740K in cash. I noticed you pushed out some debentures as well. Do you kind of just want to offer some insights here on what's going on with the, the capital structure side of things? That's, yeah, thank you, thanks. So that was one thing we also announced. We pushed out, uh, we had some debentures that were convertible debentures that were uh, uh, coming due last week on I think 23rd of November. Uh, we pushed that out for another year. Um, at that point, our share price was below the convert, so uh, we didn't want to definitely put out that kind of cash at the point. So I think the markets don't realize that we just pushed out uh, uh, that debt uh, another year and uh, should all convert. Also tied with that were a bunch of warrants for the equal amount, so we should also have the benefit of, of more cash coming in from, from those warrants. So again, uh, that was a good week, uh, avoiding... Uh, um, you know, de pushing debt out um, as well as um, announcing the full cell battery. So again, it was, I thought, quite exciting, but the market's kind of missed it. So hopefully, you know, this kind of uh, interview or whatever, will start getting some people to take a second look at those two news releases. Yeah, incredible stuff. I really appreciate your time, uh, Donald. These are really great insights today. Appreciate that and look forward to next week. Yeah, I think we have some more good news coming. Absolutely, folks. And I highly recommend, man, let us know what you think in the comment section below, because we can start bringing these up. We got to start doing some investor Q&A here. But in light of that, stay cool, stay awesome. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Well, I'll catch you next week, particularly you. But <laughs> cheers, guys. <laughs>